Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pragmatic with MarketChameleon.com. I had a question that came up, how do you screen for unusual options volume? So I wanted to use the stock screener over here and show how you could use the stock screener to filter out unusual option volume and possibly use some of the other filters to see if you could narrow it down further to something maybe more um, specific. So let's start first to look at the option data i'm going to go and change the view here to the options data and over here we could see this column here shows the option volume on a day and next to it we see the relative option volume and what this is doing is taking the current volume dividing it by the average daily volume to get this ratio so it's looking at the last 90 days taking the average daily volume and comparing the current volume and if this is higher than one that means today's option volume is above the average daily volume if this is lower than one then this is below the first thing let's just use these filters here and here's the option volume here's the relative option volume let's look for something very high so i'm going to pick three times the average daily volume so now we have these filtered out this is four and a half times the average daily volume this is 3.2 and we could see some of these high numbers also what i want to filter out is sometimes you get a high average daily volume but in general the volume in these stocks are low you can see here 61 131 let's take the option volume on a day and make it at least 5,000 this way we're looking for something very interesting that's very active on the day now that we filter these out we could see we started with 9,013 9, uh, candidates now we're down to 20 based on our parameters let's filter it down a little bit more and do the same thing with the stock volume so in this situation i want to see that not only are the options very active but so is the stock so something is probably going on and here I, i'm looking at the stock volume this is the relative stock volume average daily volume so let's do the stock volume let's for now let's just set that above one so at least on the day it's trading above its average daily volume now we have it narrowed down to nine possibilities another thing what we might want to do is see if the stock is making an unusual move or a bigger than expected move so i'm going to look for the upside and what i'm going to do is say did the stock increase by more than one standard deviation away so it typically you'll see stocks if they're not doing much those those trade trade in a in a range uh within plus one or down one standard deviation let's see stocks that are breaking out above that so i'm going to set this above its resistance or above its one day standard deviation now we narrowed it down from 9013 to four possibilities here we see in these four possibilities you know this one moved up 3.1 percent with option volume 5.4 times its average 6.3 7.7 times its average you could see some very big um uh some some very big option volumes and some big moves now if you want to just take a look and see well what's what might be going on here if you click on this informational sheet you just click it it pops open a sheet and you have all this information here so i'm going to take a look at the news and here you could see um the the headline apollo uh global management is reportedly seeking to acquire timeshare company hill and grand's vacation for about 40 dollars a share um now you see right now it's trading around 34.69 so that's possibly if that's what you're into um looking for deal stocks or potential deal stocks that might be something that you you could filter out and look into it deeper uh here's another one this traded 45 times its average daily volume the stock is up the implied volatility is up something might be going on i just pop that open take a look at the news um so you can see here it's a lot of a lot of news in this stock it looks like it's a pharmaceutical so something might be going on um you know with its drug or or you could read into it deeper but the point is that we went from 9013 we narrowed it down to four possibilities on something that something interesting that might be going on uh that uh can that you could go in there and look for into further details of course you could if you click on a stock then you'll go to that stocks page you'll you'll see more details you could go to the options chain and see how those options line up um, but that's that's how you would use the filters to really quick 
quickly narrow down your um, opportunities. Thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next video.